welcome back so in today's video i am sharing the first of many hauls for this week omg walgreens has a ton of deals going on this week we have some great manufacturing coupons high value coupons and the bonus is we also have some really great rebates on ibotta to stack with deals as well now if you are not already utilizing ibotta or fetch rewards i will leave my codes link in a pinned comment for you Definitely hop on both of these apps as they are by far the easiest rebate apps to utilize. Now, I have just started utilizing Shopkick. I am not completely 100% comfortable with this app as of yet. I only redeemed two offers so far. So if you have any tips and tricks on Shopkicks, leave that down below for me. And I'll leave the code for that as well in the pinned comment. All right, so this week is the last week of the month but it's also the last week on the current Balance Rewards program and the current Beauty Enthusiast program. We are going to be having a beauty event starting on Thursday, October the 29th, and it's gonna run for three days until Saturday, the close of business on the 31st. We have some really great deals to pair up for the beauty event, so if you're planning to participate, I encourage you to start planning now. The biggest way to have the most success throughout the beauty event is to prepare ahead of time. You want to scope out your store to see what product is in stock, verify the prices, match up your coupons, any rebate offers that you may be utilizing as well, and start making your list early. Have a few different transaction scenarios just in case something is out of stock or you don't have the coupon. They won't take the coupon or it's at a different price point, et cetera, et cetera. This way you have a few different options to get in and out of store as quickly as possible. The beauty of the beauty event is that if you have both perks, the paper perk as well as the digital perk, they will stack together. Will that be the same for this beauty event? We don't know until the beauty event. Fingers crossed, nothing has changed in regards to that. Anywho, I'll come back with a totally different video going into more details regarding the beauty event. Just make sure that you're checking your app frequently for the digital perk. And then while you're in store, ask your beauty consultant whether or not they have the paper perk available or if that location will in fact receive the paper perk. All right, so in this video, I'm going to also announce the giveaway winner later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to also answer the giveaway question and just give you guys my thoughts in regards to the question. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so on my first transaction, I picked up two of the soft soap body washes. They're on sale for $4.99 on promotion from when you buy two you get 5,000 points back. And we have a 75 cent off one digital coupon. Now you may wanna check softsoap.com to see if there are any printable coupons available. And it is a buy deal, so you can use points to pay and still get points back. I also picked up the AccuView contact solution. Those are $10.99. We have an IVC for $5 off of one. And we have a insert coupon for $5 off of one. Then there is a checkout 51 rebate for $3 back. Also picked up the Blink. These are $7.99. We have an IVC coupon for $3.50 off of one. And a insert coupon for $3 off of one. And a checkout 51 rebate for $3 back. Now on the AccuView, the rebate is actually for $4 back. I think I said three at first. And then on the Gold Bond, so they're on sale this week for buy one, get one half off, and on promotion for buy two and get 2,000 points back. I picked up this one here, priced at $11.99. This is, how many ounces? Eight ounces here. There's a Ibotta rebate for $2.50 back. And then we have an insert coupon for $3.50 off of one. And then this one here is three ounces. And there's an Ibotta rebate for $1.50 on this one here. Now they're buy one, get one half off. So regular price $11.99, half off on this one. This one here is regular $6.99. So it made it $3.49. 
So all of this together on the first transaction, my total was $44.44 minus $8.50 in the IBC coupons, $0.75 cent off of the soft soap, total of $7 on the gold bond. Again, I used two $3.50 off one insert coupons, $5 for the AccuView, and $3 for the Blink. My subtotal was $20.19. I used 20 in points and then paid the 19 cent plus tax, cash out of pocket. I got back 5,000 for the soft soap, 2,000 for the gold bond, $4 on Ibotta for the gold bond, and then seven on checkout 51 for the contact solution. So a total of $18 back between store money and rebate money on this transaction here. Hold it out if you want to screenshot that. All right, and then on the second transaction, I picked up the soft soap body wash, three other set of fields. They are regular price $9.79 on sale for buy one and get one half off. So one will ring up at $9.79 and then the other at $4.89. And then the third one, since it will be regular price, I use the 25% off coupon on that. We have insert coupons for $2 off of one. And you can only use two coupons since they are a limit of two identical coupons. And we have Ibotta rebates for $2 back up to three times. So all of this together, my total was $32.75 digital for the soft soap, the two insert coupons for the Cetaphil, and I used a $6 register reward. My total was $21.25. I used 20,000 in points, paid the dollar 25 plus tax cash out of pocket, and then I got back 5,000 for the soft soap, 5,000 for Hitty Beauty on this card, and then $6 from Ibotta. So a total of $16 back between rebate money and store money. And you guys can screenshot that if you need to. All right, then on the third transaction, I picked up two more of the soft soap body washes. I picked up the Neutrogena Concealer, price at $4.99, and then the Neutrogena Mascara, price at $9.99. We have digital coupons as well as printable coupons from coupons.com for $4 off any face product, and then $2.50 off any eye or lip product. Now I use my digital coupons in this transaction here, and I'm going to save my paper coupons for the beauty event just in case I end up picking up Neutrogena during the beauty event. Now we do have $2 off IBC coupons. However, the 25% off coupon gives more savings. So that is what I use in this transaction instead of the $2 IBC coupon. And then we have $3 rebates on Neutrogena on Ibotta. And there was a bonus that I hit as well for a dollar for Neutrogena. All right, so for all of this, $28.71, $4 for the Neutrogena, $2.50 for the Neutrogena, $0.75 cent for soft soap. Total was $21.46. I used 20 in points, paid $1.46 cash out of pocket, and I got back the $5 for the soft soap, $6 on Ibotta, and a dollar on Ibotta for the Neutrogena bonus. So a total of $12 coming back on this transaction here. And if you guys want to screenshot that. All right, then on to this transaction. All right, so answering the giveaway question, which was what do you consider or what do you constitute? By the way, did I use that word correctly? Anyways, what do you consider a moneymaker to be? Now you guys have heard me say often that I am a cash-based couponer. And what that means for me is that the only thing that matters is the amount of cash that's coming out of my pocket with each and every transaction. I do not factor in the amount I'm utilizing in store money, only the amount I'm spending in cash, which is literally pennies on a dollar, and nine times out of 10, I'm just paying my tax. Drugstore couponing has changed the way I shop as a consumer. I am no longer bound to have to actually spend my hard-earned cash for the things that my family needs and or want. I literally have no budget when it comes to paper products, 
cleaning supplies, personal care items, and a few other things as well. And so I'm able to use the store's fake money to purchase real product. Drugstore couponing is a game changer for sure. So when it comes to counting what's a money maker for me, honestly, I view pretty much all of my transactions as a money maker because the amount I'm spending out of pocket is always less than what I'm going to be receiving back, whether store rewards or in rebate money. Now, of course, there is an initial investment to get started with drugstore couponing. However, once you make that initial investment and you start to roll that store money, your cash out of pocket week by week, deal by deal, transaction by transaction should be less and less and less. This means nine times out of 10 starting off with couponing at the drugstores, you're going to be focusing on picking up things that's making you money. Items that's giving back points, extra care bucks, beauty bucks, register rewards, etc. And that may mean that you're going to be picking up things that you may not actually be in need of and or things you don't really utilize. The beauty of couponing, there's a lot, but one of the biggest perks of couponing is that we do accumulate a ton of product that we can then turn around and donate, use as gifts, or resell if we're into reselling. So yes, there is an initial investment but once that initial investment has been made, again, week by week, deal by deal, transaction by transaction, you should be spending less and less cash out of pocket for the items that your family is in need of. Now, I have been couponing for years at the drugstore. So for me to go back and figure out when the first investment happened, what the initial investment amount was, well, that's for the birds, we're not gonna do that. I'm at the point where I have multiple store cards. That way I can spread my deals out across cards so that I'm always spending the least amount of cash out of pocket. If one card cannot cover a particular transaction for the items I'm trying to pick up, but another card has the money, then I'm going to do the deal on that card or break it up if need be. So I would encourage you if you are in the habit of chasing deals based on the cost of the product after all coupons, rewards back, rebates back, etc. I would encourage you or even challenge you to not look at a deal in that perspective. Look at the deal for what the entire transaction is going to cost you cash out of pocket versus this item at Walgreens costs $3, but at Target it costs two dollars okay so that is just my thought on that i will announce the giveaway winners towards the end of the video so let's get back into the deals now on this court here i had a digital spin booster for spin 20 and you get five thousand points back so i picked up two of the soft soap two of the acuv one of the blinks two of the arm and hammer deodorant price two for three and then two of the cetaphil moisturizers now there is a separate Ibotta rebate for the moisturizers for $2.25 up to three times. And then on the Arm & Hammer, we have a 50 cent off one digital coupon and a printable coupon available. I used two printable coupons in this transaction. Since I was also using a register reward, I did want to chance it with my digital coupon not coming off since I was already hoping that the 75 cent digital coupon for the soft soap would come off, even though I was using the register reward. So to make sure everything worked up correctly on this transaction, since it was a spin deal and I was using points to pay, I made sure to ring up the soft soap last so that that digital coupon would come off and it did with no problem. So again, spend 20, get 5,000 points. So everything here was 57.63. $13.50 for the IBC coupons, and that's for the AccuV and the Blink. That still left me at $44.13, so I still meet the spend requirement of spend 20, get 5,000 points, which is always after Walgreens coupons, which are the IBC coupons, percentage off coupons, and threshold coupons. So $44.13. 
I had a total of $23.75 in manufacturing coupons. So that covered my required spend amount of 20. And this does include a $6 registrable reward. Total was $20.38. I used 20 in points, paid the 38 cent cash out of pocket. We got back 5,000 for the soft soap, 5,000 for Henny Beauty, 450 on Ifada, and that's for the Cinefield, and then a 50 cent bonus for completing the Cinefield offers. So a total of 15 back on this card here. And if you want to screenshot it, that turned out to be a pretty sweet spend 20, get 5,000 points back. All right. Then on my very last transaction, I picked up the Clorox regular price for $4.99. We have a 50 cent off one insert coupon and a digital coupon. I use the digital in this transaction. And since they're regular price, I also use the 25% off coupon. I picked up five cans of the tuna on sale five for five. And then the DiGiorno pizza on sale for buy one, get one free and they're priced at $7.49. I also picked up the Revlon on this transaction. So this week, select Revlon and Almay lip products are on promotion for when you buy two. You get a $7 register reward, and they're on sale for $7.99. Now, several people are reporting they're picking up the Clarence products, and it's still producing the $7 register reward. My store did not have anything for clearance, so these were $7.99 for me. So I picked up two of those and then got back the $7 um, register reward. All right, so everything on this transaction, $32.22 minus $0.50 cents for the Clorox. I used a $6 register reward and a $5 register reward. $20.72 was my total. I used $20,000 in points and paid the 72 cent cash out of pocket and I got back a $7 register reward for the rep line. Now I also got back one of those spin boosters which again don't understand why they're still printing but they are spend 30 and get 7,000 points also printed. I don't know what transaction it printed on but I got that as well. So for a total of $3.81 cash out of pocket not including tax as everyone's tax is different. And of course, I'm using money from the rebate apps to cover my purchases. I got all of this for free. We're going to call it free because I got all the money back from my bottom. Still ended up with store money left over. And all I paid was $3.81 cash out of pocket. And again, that money came from rebate offers that were done last week that I redeemed on Ibotta and just cashed out to have money to shop with this week. Pretty sweet if you ask me. All right, so the giveaway winners are, and I'll pop the name up on the screen. Please make sure that you contact me as soon as possible so I can get these coupons in the mail to you. That way, if you're planning to participate in the beauty event, you're able to utilize these coupons, or if not, you can still utilize them during this sales week. So either email me directly, send me an Instagram DM or a Facebook DM. I will have that information up on the screen as well as in a pinned comment below and in the description box as well. So contact me as soon as possible. If I am not contacted by Tuesday, I will pick two new winners, post that on Tuesday to get the inserts out as soon as possible. So thank you to everyone who participated in the giveaway. There will sure be more in the future. Everyone had a different viewpoint on what's considered a moneymaker, and I think that's great. I always say there's no wrong or right way to go about it. It's only what works for you. If spending X amount in cash out of pocket and then getting X amount back in store money or rebate money counts as a moneymaker to you, then okay. If you count your store money, that you wrote in plus your cash and then whatever you're getting back, then okay. It's whatever works for you. There's no wrong or right way to go about it. It's what works for you. All right, so with that being said, guys, thanks so very much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, guys, happy coupon.